Okay, incredible news, incredible news today. We can now use 3DGS and Nerf inside the Omniverse. 3DGS should not be confused with like standard 3D meshes and models because if you don't understand the technology, you won't understand the limitations. And if you don't understand the limitations, you might be disappointed about some of your results. So let's just temper expectations for a moment, but this is nuts. Okay, now we've got the wonderful Isaac Sub 5 running um, with all its bells and whistles. We have an Omniverse. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? We have GTC um, 24 and Omniverse. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. Yeah, wild. Unbelievable. I think it was around five years ago. Neural Radiance Fields came out. What it was, you could take maybe like 300 images, go around something two or three times. Using this clever AI mechanism, they create these 3D scenes, these 3D models, and they looked photorealistic. It was like entering the matrix. It was just crazy technology. Maybe a year later, 3D Gauzy and Splatten came out. One of the main drawbacks of Nerf is you can't edit the Neural Radiance Field, whereas 3D GS you can. Get, a, get clone this repo and then you're going to be running a, a script inside this to do your conversion. So you'll have your .pl files and then you're going to convert that to a USDZ. Again, this is a compressed USD file, right? Massive shout out, incredible work and, and just incredible work. Like, this is mind boggling stuff. This is like, you know, this is like alien technology. Well done to everybody involved. Congratulations on your success here. Really, really impressed.